Hey everyone, um, just wanted to uh, show everyone uh, what how far Android's come along uh, on the uh, Windows Mobile HTC HTD2 Leo version. Uh, this is running a dual boot of a Kleenex Osron for the Windows Mobile, and for Android it's running the MatC Leo uh, Froyo with uh, Sense UI 1.7, which is currently the latest one. Um, <clears throat> this boot, um, this just boots up into Windows, and you'll see uh, a dual boot option pop up shortly. This is, like I said, the Kleenex Osrom version, so uh, it, it looks kind of different to the standard one. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the dual boot was a, a good option for me, purely because I was a little bit concerned with Android not being very stable. Well, this is the first time I've uh, tried Android, so I wasn't really sure. But yeah, so you can see that's the standard Windows uh, with the Sense UI. Well, not standard, but with the Osram with the Sense UI. As you'll see, um, it's pretty uh, standard Windows layout, just different icons. Um, everything works as per standard. The few little differences. Windows uh, icon down the bottom here, you know, little things like that, not too big, um, not too many differences. The uh, what I'll do now though is I'll boot into the I'll boot into Android from Windows, so you can see. So it's just booting up. Um, my experience is so far running Android on um, for about a week now. It's been my main operating system for the phone. I, to be honest, I find it quite difficult going back to Windows Mobile after using this Android. It's actually quite slick. Um, the Android markets are much better than the Windows market. Uh, probably not as populated as the Apple iPhone, but still very good. Um, as you can see, this is just the Windows. <coughs> Sorry, the standard Android boot up. You'll see. Um, battery life on this for me has been uh, on par, roughly with the uh, Windows Mobile. Probably not as good, but you know I haven't tweaked it. It's just default, um, so it's actually it really runs really good. This is a port of uh, HTC's Desire, and you'll see that when the software comes up. But it runs really smoothly once it's booted up. It runs very smoothly on the HD2 hardware. So um, it's getting there, it's nearly booted up. I just wanted to run through the whole thing just so, you know, if you're thinking about um, wanting to run Android on the HD2, then it's come a long way and it's just going to get better from here, I think, obviously. And it's actually very, quite stable at the moment. I'd say about 98% solid. There's a couple of little things that are not perfect. Um, for me, everybody's got different issues, but for instance, for myself, um, little things like footprints, the footprints, the sense UI footprints don't work. So this is just looting up. As you can see, the Android uh, there. That's, this is with sense UI, which I've modified. It's got all the icons. It's got the um, since you are weather and whatnot, um, you can see at the top the uh, <laughs> the hard buttons here work. If you press home on the home screen, uh, it brings up the uh, Android multi screen which you can pick. So I'll go to the news. This is going to and you can see in the top right there the H um, for the internet that's working, it's all working fine. Wi Fi works. I've currently got it on the Engadget homepage for the news, so you can swipe across. These are just more options and icons that I've got. Um, my favorites, which I won't show. Um, this is the homepage again. This is it, it uh, Active Sync works to uh, exchange, it's all good. Again, that's just the home screen. 
uh, what I will show you is we've gone to settings um, scroll up about phone uh, software see that it says Android 2.2 and this particular one is a uh, build number Matsy Leo Ferrero with Sense 1.7 so um, yeah everything works really well I'll show you a market so it's a little bit slow because of my um, internet but yeah there you go uh, out of 10 10 the programs I've installed probably one I've been unable to get to install properly from the Windows Mark here on the on this port so it's working quite well um, everything else works like uh, Facebook you know everything works well so just wanted to give you a quick rundown just to show you how smooth um, Android 402.2 runs on the HTC HD2 so if you're considering it, then uh, now's a very good time to do it. It'll just get better from here.